SBC Sims, and we are back with more Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony in the middle, second, middle of the second half of the close trial? I don't know, we're in the second half at any rate, so who knows, I don't know. It was, it was like, it was getting really boring, and then it got kind of exciting, and now it's getting boring again. I don't know. The class trials just go on way too goddamn long in the end, and they're just... Oh, can we just be done with this already? Because I don't know what the hell happened, none of this. This one doesn't make any fucking sense. Like, I know that they're trying to, like, throw you for a loop and kind of confuse you, but it just doesn't make any damn sense, I feel like. And I don't know. I, I just... Meh. 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 It's starting to bother me. Like, I don't know. <laughs> it's taking too long, and nothing makes sense, and I just don't get it at all. I... I Anyway. If the students are Monokuma don't know who the culprit is, then I'm the winner! Don't underestimate me, or Shuichi and the others, for that matter! What? <laughs> it's just like a remnant of despair to try to assume control of the game! Hmm. But these kids are all that's left of Hope Speak Academy. If you think they're gonna make this easy for you, you better think again! Whose side are you taking here? Side? Isn't it obvious? Monokuma joins your party! Ultimate disp- okay, this is interesting. Who invited you? Kokichi. Now, let's join forces and unravel the truth behind this case! Hmm. It's getting more and more confusing. Well, we were going to do it anyway. Let's just ignore Monokuma. His actions are always beyond comprehension. Yeah! Let's just focus on the case! Hey, be quiet so we can ignore you. Now, where should we start? We've already established what Kokichi is after. He's just gonna keep talking anyway, isn't he? In my experience, whenever you learn a new fact... Hmm... You no, learn I'm something sorry, something just started occurring it. to me and I can't quite... It was just, I, I just keep thinking, like, they're trying to throw you for loops, and then I was like, but then we did the... Mm, now things are starting to... I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. Yes, let's look for that. You warmed up to him real fast. I guess you are both robots. So another truth comes out. That piece of evidence makes more sense now. The evidence that I couldn't wrap my head around. The... what? Um... Kaido's coat? No. Um... The video? This is it! I don't know, I'm just guessing here. Okay. Let's discuss the video of Kaito being crushed by the hydraulic press. Because that's the only thing we didn't have, and then fucking Kokichi showed up with it, right? And it was weird. Kokichi said that he filmed that video to prove he was not the victim. But we know that Kokichi was trying to mislead Monokuma. So what about the video? It's pretty strange to present evidence that condemns you after all. Then what kind of mistake was Kokichi trying to get me to make? Maybe he crushed Kaito with a hydraulic press so the cause of death would be unknown? But if that were the only objective, there would be no need to film it. You were trying Discovering to prove- the crushed body would have been enough. No need to show us the film. We were trying to prove that it was Kaido. That's true! I guess you're starting to fit in after all. If you get any cuter, I'm gonna hug you. Huh? Really? There must be a reason you went out of your way to show us the body being crushed. No reason, really. That's just my twisted personality. Hmm... You're lying again, Kokichi. There's a method to your madness. If you wanted Monokuma to make a mistake, then showing us the video 
It must have something to do with trying to fool Monokuma. Taking the video of the murder, but keeping the victim's identity hidden. What does it show? What doesn't it show? Well, if you wanted to keep the victim's identity hidden... Um, hold on. Okay, wait, hold on. I think I know the victim. Because why would you... You're trying to hide the victim. The but then you show the video? Huh? Is it even possible? No, that's a question for later. For now, we know that. If you show the moment of Kaito's death, of course it would lead us to believe he died. Even if we can't positively identify the body, we would still believe Kaito was the victim. That might be exactly the mistake Kokichi was going for. Does that mean the victims were switched? Switched? So it was Kokichi. Because there's a point where it goes, and then the, and then it slams down. So that could have what stopped the press, switched them, and that. Hmm. Then it was some other dead body that got crushed by the hydraulic press. But then Kaido's the one pretending to be Kokichi? That doesn't make fucking sense. What? But... Oh. Oh, no, wait. No, that would kind of make sense. Because then if you think about what Kokichi said, you know, I'm trying to make a... Fa a whatever, that Monokuma can't win, then Kaito... But wait, but why would... Were they in on it together? That doesn't make any sense. Or, you know, Kokichi really did have Kaido, and then Kaido figured out that he wasn't, Kokichi was in the mastermind, attacked him, blah, 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 threw him in the press, did all that, and was like, well, I'll pretend to be Kokichi then, in the Exosol, because then Monokuma won't know, and you'll be like, oh, Kokichi's the killer, and Monokuma can't do it, and Kokichi really isn't the killer, Kaido's the killer, and Monokuma has no idea, and Monokuma would have to admit defeat, and then everybody could live, and Kokichi died. Oh! That would kind of be brilliant! But it's not gonna work, and... Oh, fuck. Oh, god, we're gonna... So then Kaido didn't die, and then he's gonna be the... And we're gonna have to watch a punishment with... Oh. What the fuck? Why did that... No, you know what? I don't like this one again. Oh, fuck. God, I really don't like this chapter. Where would he even get another oh. body? No, I didn't like it when I thought Kaido was dead and I kept thinking he was alive and then I was like, oh god, but then he killed Kokichi and that would really suck. And then, then it was like, okay, he's dead and that sucks. And now he might not be dead and then he, but he's gonna be dead. Ugh, fuck, man, fuck. I don't like this game anymore. Kills all my friends. There should be plenty to choose from if you reuse the body of a former victim. Yeah, yeah, if get those. there was an unknown body, then we could guess the victim was switched. <laughs> but too bad. Switching the victims was impossible. Unless it was your body, Kokichi. See? Because, like, right there. And then it pauses. The footage showed the body being crushed. But it stops. It pauses and you don't see it. When in the footage would they have been able to switch the victim? There's a pause in the video, though. And we already established that the footage was not doctored in any way. No, but it was paused. If you use the Electro Bomb at the right time... The camera doesn't have any editing functions. Just play, record, and pause. Monokuma also said that no computer was used to edit the footage. Remember? But the Electro Bomb was... Damn it! Me and my big mouth! Which means switching out the victim would not be possible. The Electro Bob. Also, if the victim was switched, then that would mean Kaito is still alive. We already discussed this so many times. The chance of that happening is impossible. It might be possible. Huh? There could be a trick to make the switch possible. We just haven't noticed it yet. 
Oh, and what trick is that? See, you don't know, do you? I already said it's impossible. Maki's not wrong. There is a way it could be done. So we can't just give up here. I like how he, like, points not straight ahead. He points, like, over his head. Hey, hey Bird, you. trim your toenails! Think harder about awful! This as well. So, can you confirm whether or not the victim switched places? If Kaito is... alive or not? But if he's alive... Oh yeah. Maki. I don't like the thought that I killed Kaito. I don't want that. Okay, then. Let's talk about the possibility that Maki will mention. Himiko, if you call her that again... Yes, please. Oh, uh, okay. Then let's all uh. talk it over together. Together? Don't forget, you're not alone. Don't try to do everything yourself. It's only gonna wear you out. When times are hard, you gotta rely on your friends. But Kaido, we're yeah, gonna kill you if we I'm rely sure on each we'll other. Something out. Jeez, you guys are a stubborn bunch. There's no trick. That's probably another lie. However, if the victims were switched, then that would mean the footage was altered. Hmm. How could it have been altered when we know that the footage wasn't edited? It's an electronic device. If we could figure that out. Maybe we'd know how they switched places. I knew there was a trick to that video the whole time. Okichi made it, so it's 100% suspicious. And remember, we already established that the Electro Bomb was used to prevent or to stop the hydraulic press from not squishing Kaito, right? Therefore, it would have fucked the camera up. Trick to that video. Ready? And then, here's the bomb. And then there you go. Because why does it jerk like that? What could it be? What's suspicious about it? I mean, I don't know. It looks pretty fluid to me, but... Okay. Okay, I got press Kaido's coat, hangers front shutter, okay. There some trick to that video. That's what you all gotta figure out! There is no trick. You can check, but there's no editing function in that camera. I believe that. Did the placement of that camera seem suspicious to any of you? The filming angle seemed unnatural, don't you think? The person in that video... Uh-huh. Was it really Kaito? Something seems off about that video to me. When the hydraulic... Oh, hold on. Shoot. Shit, I missed it. When it stopped. That the video was shot at another location? Yes, because it stopped. Remember, hey, it paused. Like, why? Ideas? Because when we did it, Come the hydraulic press just kept up. going when it was on freaking, um... Why did the hydraulic press stop for a second? Yep, we put our heads together. We can find hope. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. There must be some trick to that video. That's what you all gotta figure out! There is no trick. You can... <laughs> The angle seemed unnatural, don't you think? The that person yes. in that video. Was it really Kaito? Something seemed off about that video to me. When the hydraulic press. I agree! It's so cute! Us and Kibo, he's our new boyfriend. This guy is gonna die. Kibo is on this side. I don't know. Isn't it weird that the hydraulic press stopped for a second? Because when Kibo and I first investigated that hydraulic press, it just kept going. Yes, that's right. The hydraulic press kept lowering itself without stopping. Because it didn't go slam. But in the video, a hydraulic press, it would be a pret, literally, not a slam. The hydraulic press stopped briefly, right before it crushed the body? Mm -hmm. But why would it stop? 
Why did the press stop? There's only one reason I can think of. The Electro Bump. Oh. Oh, okay. We're doing this now. Oh, whoops. What can I... Oh, okay, I was hitting the wrong button. Uh... Oh, uh, this is an exosol, I think. Okay. What's over here? What's that? Oh, so somebody... Oh, so... Oh, shit, that's not the one I wanted to hit. This? How do I... Oh, can I not do it because of this? Oh, guys. I see it! Because it wasn't a control button, I wanted to be that. I, I would have said it was an Electro Bomb, but we don't have that as an option. The only way to stop the hydraulic press is the force stop button. An Electro Bomb went off in the hangar, which would have interfered with the safety function. There'd be no way to stop the hydraulic press unless someone used the force stop button. When you say someone, you mean Kokichi, right? He was the only one there. Hmm, actually, maybe I pressed it by accident. I don't really remember. So what of it? The press only stopped for like a sec. You can't switch the victim in such a short time, can you? That's true. There's also the question of how the bodies got switched while the camera was rolling. Maybe he turned the camera off. That would have clearly been caught on camera. While the camera was rolling. Oh, I see. It wasn't just the press that stopped. Huh? Huh? What do you mean? If you stop something else at the same time you stop the hydraulic press... We're going camera, yep. Yes, I see it now. That's how the bodies were switched. If you stop that, you could easily have swapped the bodies. You could have swapped the bodies easily. Oh, lovely. We're doing this again. Okay. What's that? That's a thing. But that's not what we're looking for. Um... camera. I see it. The Electro Bomb had been in the other one. The culprit stopped the video camera at the same time as the hydraulic press. Then, while the camera was off, they switched the body under the hydraulic press. Mm. After the body was swapped, the press and the camera were started simultaneously. So it just looks like the press stopped for a moment. The fact that we have to keep watching this is That's disturbing. That's what I've been saying this whole time! When did you ever say that? So they stopped at the same time. The camera position did seem odd to me. But now I get it. The trick wouldn't work unless it was set up there. It's set up next to the, where the control panel is so that you could easily push both buttons. Huh? Why? To get the trick we just described to work, the camera had to be set up precisely. Right? I mean... Let's pin that down. Where was the camera set up? It had to be pressed on the... Uh... It had to be here, right? It was set up over there. If it, if it was there, the angle would be wrong and you couldn't control- Oh, whoops, Ugh. okay. Oh, okay, wait a minute, no. That's the control pat platform, though, isn't it? Oh, whoops, I- This is it. I thought this was the control panel, I didn't- Because it's upside down, it's here. This is what I meant to click, so, okay. There! I had the right spot, I just couldn't tell what the fuck it was from upside- That was the painting thing. 
Whoops. The video camera must have been set up somewhere around here. I wasn't really, I was trying to do it fast, and I was like, oh, okay, this is the thing, the platform, because I just saw, like, the girders and shit, and that's not the right, okay. To operate the press and the camera at the same time, you would have to be near the switch. I should have looked a little bit harder, but... That's why the video was taken from that unnatural angle. What? If they were recording it like normal, they would have used a better angle. But here's the thing. Kaido's in there. So that means Kokichi stopped everything. And then... Climbed in the press? Why the fuck would he do that? I don't... And if it was recorded at such an odd angle, then that proves the trick was used. But I don't understand that. Camera angles, huh? I mean... Looks like your cosplayer experience is finally useful. I was thinking that, like, oh, okay, Kaido faked it and was pressing the buttons, but... Kaido was in the press. That means Kokichi did. So then Kokichi stopped it, and then they took Kaido out, and then... put an... Because I'm assuming what we're supposed to think is then Kokichi got in there. So, Kokichi voluntarily let himself get smushed? What kind of fucked up shit is going on? See, I don't well, like this now. Well, doesn't really come up all that much in class trials. There was a reason the camera was set up there, but also a reason for the height. When the press was stopped, you couldn't really see who was inside it, correct? That was intentional. The body is mostly hidden by the press, making the swap easier. The camera must have been placed at such a high position so it would produce that angle. I wonder if they used that tripod in the hangar to adjust the camera's height. Did they get that from the warehouse too? Jeez, that place is like a 4D pocket. You don't get to make that reference. Then, that logic is correct, right? Kokichi used that video angle trick and switched the victim in the hydraulic press. But why? In that case, Kaito is... Before he was crushed by the press, he was swapped with a different body. So Kaito's still alive! You only have to... Well, wait just a minute. <sighs> what? But I just summed it up so nicely. Kimiko, the different body you mentioned, what are you talking about? The bodies from the other cases. Okichi's the mastermind, so he... <gasps> wait, the mastermind? Yeah, Kokichi isn't the mastermind, so... I don't think he'd be able to produce a body to switch out. What? Well, Monokuma, do the rules allow for a body to be reused? Very well. I'll answer that. You're giving in pretty easily. Well, it's crucial information to make the trial fair. This discussion is pointless if it's not clear what the culprit was allowed to do, right? <laughs> You're a convenient mastermind, but I guess that makes defeating you worth my time. Hmm. Now then, regarding the reuse of a dead body. That is impossible! All the dead bodies have already been thrown away. So that means it was Kokichi. Thrown away? The other bodies are gone? Then who did Kaido switch places with? But then Kokichi willingly... Kokichi and Kaido were the only ones in the hangar at the time. If they were the only ones present during the body swapping trick, then the real victim was... Right? Kokichi. If it wasn't an old body, it could only be... What's wrong, Shuichi? Who did Kaido switch places with? Maki, I think I missed something very important here. Something important? Yeah, they were working together. To fool Monokuma, or to... But I just don't... If I have the timeline right, there were only two people on the hangar at the time. Which means that something... 
had to have been decided before. I have to pin that down. I can't let anything escape me this time. Oh, uh, fuck. Okay. Something about being... Okay, I don't know if vic victim is part of it, but I don't know if that's the first... Okay, that's the first part. Um, victim, and all I see is letters for victim, so I don't know victim. The victim's just... Switched, I don't think... H is there, okay. Victim switch? I don't... But there's no H. I mean, there is an H. I mean, there's no S. H, E... There's C's and M's, but... Okay. I know it. I got it. Okay. I'm gonna sell the P. H E P helped. Okay. I'm glad we get like four minutes for that because that's not. Well, we already used victim on one of those. Like, so, and having all those letters right up front, you're like, the V, this, okay, it's victim. Okay, but is that the second? Okay. So it was the first word, but I, yeah. Switch? I don't know. But what do you mean? Victim switch would have been good, but there was no S. There was a P, and I saw the H, and then the, and then the P, and I was like, okay, let me try this. Um, there were only two people in the hangar at the time the bodies were swapped. Like which means they were working together. I just can't. Huh? Working together? This is just, I don't... Mm -mm. The only two people involved in the swap were the victim and the culprit. I can't... Kaido, Kaido, why? The culprit was operating the camera and the hydraulic press while the victim lay inside. If they switched places while the press and the camera were stopped... That means Kokichi willingly the went to the... person who turned the camera and the press back on was the original victim. I can't believe Kokichi would willingly do this, though. To put it simply, both people operated the press and camera at different times. An impossible trick, unless the victim and culprit agreed to cooperate beforehand. I just don't understand why. The victim and culprit cooperated? Is that even possible? It sounds bizarre, but perhaps that was the whole point. But Kaido, now you're gonna die. Commit a crime that was so confusing, even Monokuma would be tricked. Jeez, this culprit's a real jerk. But if Monokuma was tricked, then he would have to admit defeat, and we would win. So, have you realized who done it yet? Oh, Kaido, you underestimated us. The culprit of the case. If my detective work hasn't failed me. The culprit is inside that exosol. Oh, it's fucking Kaido. It can only be them. Can we just let the timer run out? Oh, Kaido, you just broke my heart. I can't. You the know what? When you were we dead, it hurt less. Was Kaido, which means. I know you broke my heart so much more than you just being switched. Was operating the hydraulic press and camera at first. If the two of them switched while the press was stopped, then the culprit who started the hydraulic press again and crushed Kokichi must be Kaito. Oh, God, I hate this so much. So. The person inside that exosol isn't Kokichi. I hate this. It has to be Kaito. I don't like those guys. What did you say? So the culprit for this case is... Kaito.
Ito Momota. That is what the ultimate detective has deduced, right? Kaito is the culprit? What? You're joking, right? You can't be serious. I don't want to be serious. I don't want to believe it either. Yeah. But it's the only way any of this makes sense. Oh, oh God. My detective work has led me to the conclusion that Kaito is the culprit. Is that true? Is Kaito really in there? Hey, answer us! If you really are Kaito, then... I'm the culprit. Huh? There's just no way that Kaito can still be alive. Because I'm the culprit. Because she poisoned. Wait, you? But didn't you say... I saw it with my... Oh, shit. I saw it with my own eyes. drank the antidote that he stole from Kaito. Because I'm just so annoyed because, like, sometimes when they're going to interrupt, it automatically switches like it just did, and sometimes it doesn't, and so I just never know, and, like, I just hit the fucking button even though she wasn't done talking. Like, she interrupted. Oops. Anyway. There's no doubt Kaito died, and he died because of my poison arrow. But you told us you didn't want to kill Kaito. Yes, I never wanted to. I wanted to believe that I didn't kill him. But... The truth speaks differently. In the end, I was just running away from the facts. Huh? I don't understand. Maki, are you... trying to protect Kaido? If he's the culprit, you're trying to help him get away? There was only one antidote, so it's more likely he died from my poison arrow. This is the truth. It's not decided yet. I could have still killed him with the hydraulic press. So, Kokichi and Kaito conspired to do this to confuse Monokuma to get everyone free because Monokuma wouldn't know who did it. And if we have no idea who the culprit is and Monokuma doesn't know, we'd have to call a draw. And that's why he's now. Either way, those are the two options. Monokuma knows the answer. Right? Huh? Are those the only options? I guess that's how things turned out. No, that can't be! The person in that exosol is... It's not Kaito! I saw Kokichi drink the antidote! There's no mistake. Kaito is dead. I... killed Kaito. There is absolutely no doubt. That's the truth. Here's my problem is being Suichi so so right now. Even if you know Kaido's in there, Kaido killed Kokichi, you know exactly what they were doing. They're trying to fuck with Monokuma. Monokuma can't win this. No one has to... Why would you insist it's Kaido? Why wouldn't you be like, yeah, you're right, I have no idea. Oops, I accidentally just turned on my freaking Xbox. By touching my toad again, just by accident. But you know what I'm saying? Why the fuck would you not just be like, oh, I guess you're right, we have... But it could be Kokichi, it could be... Uh, and then Monokuma would have to either kill us all or call it a draw. You know what I mean? Like, I just... Oh, oh I thought so. Maki is trying to protect Kaido. We should let her. I understand how she feels, but if Kaido is the culprit... Why did he agree to Kokichi's plan? To fuck with Monokuma and save us all! I can't imagine that Kaido would do something so selfish. There must be a reason for it. I truly believe that. But I have to get to the bottom of this before I can uncover that truth. But, Maki, you don't know for certain that Kokichi drank the antidote. Oh, Suichi. What? You saw him drink it right in front of you, but you couldn't confirm he actually did it. So maybe there's another possibility. You saw him drink it, but you couldn't confirm he drank it. But if you saw him drinking, isn't that confirming that he drank it? What are you talking about? Impossible. That's impossible. There is no other possibility. I killed Kaito! Okay, great. 
I killed Kaito! You're the one who's wrong. He died from my poison arrow. There's no other possibility. What do you know? I killed Kaito! Shit. You're the one who's wrong. He died from my poison arrow. I don't understand arrow. the press and hold ones. There's no other possibility. What do you know? It doesn't matter what you say. I'm telling you, this is the truth. But you keep getting in the way. I don't understand the press and hold ones. You're so goddamn annoying. It doesn't matter what you say. I'm telling you, this is the truth. But you keep getting in the way. You're so goddamn annoying. It doesn't matter oh what God. you say. Ugh. I'm telling you, this is the truth. I was at the scene. So I know I'm not wrong. I'm sorry I kept quiet till now. I wanted to believe I didn't kill him. But I won't run away from the truth anymore. Because I know what I saw. I was at the scene. So I know I'm not wrong. I'm sorry I kept quiet till now. I wanted to believe I didn't kill him. But I won't run away from the truth anymore. Because I know what I saw. I was at the scene. So I know I'm not wrong. I'm sorry I kept quiet till now. I wanted to believe I didn't kill him. But I won't run away from the truth. Oh, fuck. Okay. I saw Kokichi drink the antidote. Pretend to drink. Oh, the antidote. I was like, I said, I said, pretend to drink. I'm like, where's the word on that one? Ugh. <sighs> That was at least a nice circle. I couldn't see the Could word on the bottom one. I was like, "Look, what is it?" The antidote. He didn't actually drink it. Oh God. He pretended to drink it. Drinking the antidote was part of his lie. Maki could only see so much through the window. She didn't confirm Kokichi drank it. Hmm. I believe that Kokichi knew this and just pretended to drink the antidote. Okay. After Maki left. He gave the antidote to Kaito. There's a strong possibility that all of this was done to confuse Monica to make Kaito cooperate. Make him cooperate? The swapping trick required the victim and culprit to work together. Kaito's cooperation was essential to Kokichi's plan. He killed himself. Well, I mean, technically Kaido killed him, but he was going to do that, so then there would, you would never know who was dead, who was alive. However, I don't think Kokichi would be able to sway Kaito easily. He needed leverage. He gave Kaito the antidote in exchange for his cooperation. In exchange for his own life, you mean? Kaito had no choice. He had to cooperate after Kokichi saved his life. That's just Kaito's character. And Kokichi knew that. He swallowed his pride with the antidote and agreed to participate in Kokichi's plan. Oh my god. Alright. I'm gonna wrap this part up here. I feel I don't know if we're gonna have any more. We did that final argument thing, so we'll probably have to go. We're gonna do some more extrapolation here and then probably have the closing arguments and the more extrapolation and whatnot. So I'm gonna wrap this part up here because it's going a little long. Um, and we'll finish this up in the next part, oh, baby. Um, so I will see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more.